What's good, everybody? On a Saturday, man, things have been crazy for me the last couple of days. My band, Backwards, our new single, uh, The Great Equalizer, is now live on a lot of the major digital platforms. And, of course, it's released over there. At, you can listen to it on YouTube and so forth from Backwards Music. I will put the link in, like, the pin, pin, uh, the pin comment. But it was slowly but surely rolling out on the major digital platforms. As of me shooting this video, it just came live on Spotify. It's also on uh, Google. We have confirmation as well as Amazon. I don't think it's on Apple yet or iTunes. So they'll, that'll be probably next. But it uh, is on those platforms for sure. So go check it out. Even if you... Uh, don't listen to it there. You can listen to it over on YouTube. Like I say, that link will be in the description. You can go check that out. So today, I want to talk about something. I did my video, which is getting a lot of views about why I don't support, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter. And I don't quite know what I'm going to title this. By the time I upload it, I'll obviously have a title. But there's some ideas that I want to expand upon, specifically that I addressed there, because I think a lot of people get it twisted as far as where I'm at. I even reiterated this point, of course, on The Blaze with uh, News and Why It Matters this past Friday. Uh, so was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. So, look, I'm not in the business of begging to be accepted by people that don't want to include me. And this, if you can understand that, you can understand even my approach to a lot of the art stuff, the entertainment, entertainment stuff, as people think, or they see me talk about like tokenized characters and they see me talk about representation, diversity and all of these things that people sort of parade around as if they're just these net positive things all the time. And it all stems from this idea that I have. Right. And I'm not in the business of being of begging to be accepted by anybody. But in this case, I'm not begging to be accepted or included in white people's affairs. I want to show y'all something real quick that kind of embodies this whole movement as far as what Eat people are doing. Your favorite banana bread recipe. So, morning, a friend of mine, you know, posted something without posting anything about uh, hashtag Black Lives Matter. Like it's incredibly this, hurtful. This cornball, like this, is, it makes it really does make me angry. Y'all got to kind of understand that because it makes black men look like weaklings. This whole movement is made, and maybe it's not a surprise that when you think about Black Lives Matter, the actual, uh, like the organization, not the movement, uh, it kind of has this whole against the heteronormative patriarchy, all, all of this sort of weird stuff. But these dudes is crying. This whole, this is what this whole entire video is about. People talking about white folk among their either their community or their, their subculture, the places of work, basically saying that them not saying anything is offensive to them. This is why, look, y'all can be mad at me all y'all want. This is why I believe that when folks sit up here and try to call me a lesser than black person, they're projecting. It's not me that's going around begging to be accepted by by anybody, black or white. But in this case, especially white people, because that's what the whole thing is about, right? They talk about white supremacy and so forth. My idea of combating that, in a lot of cases, is an invisible enemy. We can be completely real about that. But my job in combating the ones that exist ain't to beg them to accept me or include me in their affairs. But this idea that white folk must speak up on behalf of, of, of black folks and that if they don't, that's offensive to you. That's what weaklings do. That's what people, again, that's a leadership issue. See me seeing all these black men do this. Uh, it, 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 it's very, very cringy. But in a sense, that's what losers do. And what they don't realize is that they are inherently admitting that these groups of people are more superior than they are or superior to them. They do that by default, by holding such a position that their words matter that much. And this is why they have fostered this culture of these weird old white uh, leftists on social media, white celebrities and so forth, 
talking about they take responsibility, talking about they basically have to do something in order to move black people's world for them. This is why I don't support y'all movements. I'm not with that. But that's what the whole hashtag or when you think about what it means, right? Black lives matter. Who are you trying to convince? This is what I said in my last video. That was a leading point. Who are you trying to convince? White folk. It's the state. Who are you trying to convince? Because convince, if you value yourself, you value other people that have a similar skin tone as you, What? why are you sitting here begging for them to validate you and figure as if their life, you're, again, the whole movement is centered around, I keep saying it again, but it's sitting around begging to be accepted and begging to be validated by white people. Because they feel as if white, white folks don't legitimize their experience, white folks don't legitimize them as human beings. Therefore, their answer to that is to beg. This is why they have this whole idea now that silence equals consent or whatever, which I don't know what it is now. Silence equals violence, silence, whatever it is. It's for losers. But I would never be on board with a movement that does that, ever. That's what this whole deal is. You sit up here like, and they think so lowly of you that they excuse bad behavior. That's how lowly they think of black folks and people that, that are supposedly speaking on behalf of black folks. Um, as far as they, 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 they excuse your bad behavior. They pretend as if their your world can't move unless they do it for you. So the state has to do something and, and so forth. Um, and I'm just not with that. To sit up here and be crying so these crocodile tears because white colleagues of yours ain't saying nothing for you is like, to me, is just literal beta, right? Like where are, where are the men, man? Where are the actual leaders? That are and there, there, there exist. There's some outliers. Um, they're certainly pro black folks, that are pro family that understand the importance of black men, certainly in their households. They exist among some of these movements, even if I feel like they may also be fighting an invisible enemy in a lot of cases. Um, they at least have the right idea in this regard. There are some of those that for sure exist, but when you think about the movement as a whole and the theme that is more so caught with basically the entire culture of America, that's what it is. It's begging to be accepted, begging to be validated, acknowledged by white people. This is why the ba the biggest blocks are the black folk that want to be accepted, want it to be, want to be included. This is why you have all of these businesses talking about what they're going to do. They're donating all of this money. They are going to have these programs and causes in which they try to amplify people's voices because, of course, black folks' voices can't just be heard authentically or organically. They have to be sort of segued in by way of white folk in their businesses. Like it's insulting. But you have that group of white folks, two big blocks, that group of white folk that are, you know, some of some cases self-loathing, but in, a, in a, this weird kind of way is self-righteousness because they feel as if they have this power that they don't have. And this is what I was mentioning on the blaze yesterday, these weirdos that, I see in our own scene and like the metal court scene who I know broke who I know they don't make no money off of their records. I know they don't make no money off of nothing for the most part. They get off tour and they go work at, you know, firehouse or subway or something like that. No disrespect to people that work at firehouses or subway. A job is a job, but I'm just saying for them to like think they are superior to me. Right. Or they have some privilege more than me is, is insane. <laughs> no, you don't. You weirdo. No, you do not. But it's that block of white folk who are self-important, who feel as if, and that self-importance happens because of that other block of black folks who think as if they are so much superior to them that they have to be included in their affairs because they actively are, 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 are keeping them, keeping them where they're at. The white folk, right? The, the, the white people. It's so insulting. But like I said, I'm not in the business of begging to be accepted by white people. You can be mad at me all you want. You can try to conjure up this mental gymnastics, which is what a lot of folks do. They try to conjure up this, this mental gymnastics like, oh, he's a self. Like, you ain't never heard me hate myself uh, because of reason I'm black. All of the positions that I have is because I take, you know, I'm a black man. It's not anything that I shy away from. I'm not a colorblind. I'm not colorblind or anything like that. I am a black man. I am fine with that. 
but I don't need to be validated by people that don't want to, that I feel are actively trying to keep me out. This is why I did the video. When I talked about I don't obsess over racism and I had a lot of the Malcolm X quotes and stuff like that because I don't. Like, if you don't like me for me, that doesn't offend me. If it manifests itself into aggression, that I had to take issue. But even if you, but if obviously if you weren't black or, or white or whatever, that I would take issue with. So that's a non point. If it manifests itself into aggression, we have issues. But just because you think some kind of way like me or, or, or think some kind of way about me and then you have resources and you don't want me to have access to them or something like that because you don't like the color of my skin. Go screw yourself. Now I know not to deal with you. That's fine. But what I'm not about to do is beg to be included, beg to be accepted because my world does not depend on you. And I don't even want to perpetuate a culture. I would never raise, you know, I don't have kids yet, but when I do, I would not raise them to think like that. But this is the culture that's been fostered by all of these weirdos, man. Blue check marks and so forth. Like, none of this even makes sense. This whole daggum thing is just, I don't know what kind of dimension that we're living in where people just think that the boogeyman white man is just controlling their every move and that this is like, oh, we have this uber racism problem. When you see pretty much it's the most corporate movement of all time right now is saying black lives matter and trying to do all of these things. Like, come on, man. Like I'm not saying racism doesn't exist. I'm just saying when you talk about to the, to the degree of what y'all discussing it's like, it ain't, it ain't that right. Like even with this whole recent scenario with, uh, with, with unfortunate murder, let's call it what it is of George Floyd. Like, it's not even any proof that that he was killed because he was black. Like we, everybody just defaults to that. But nonetheless, whatever. I know there's a state problem. This is the stuff that I've been talking about for years. But my solution to that ain't what y'all solution is. Like replacing the state with with as right now, all oh, there's a bunch of black folk that work with the state. They're all criminals. You know what I'm saying? You know, so replacing it with with um, different color versions of people that are in the state does not solve the issue. You still a problem. Doesn't matter who you put in there. You put someone in there my color. You think it'd be any people people my color that won't be dead? <laughs> Come on, man. This is why I'm talking about. If y'all ain't talking about we we talk about solutions to quote unquote white supremacy. If y'all not talking about abolition of gun laws, abolition of taxes. I ain't trying to hear nothing y'all talking about. Food, they created a whole little uh, a money laundering scheme called defund the police where they just reroute money to people with worthless degrees to respond to, and, and with the wor- worthless degrees and then the woke police. I'm like, wait a minute, hey man, so we're going to get to keep our money, right? Yeah, let's defund it, we're going to get to keep our money. No, 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 we got we to gotta fund the welfare status with the money that y'all, was- oh, okay. So it's a, it, it, was a, it, was a, it was a stick up. It wasn't, it wasn't really about a defund. It's well, very sneaky, but they do that with language, man. That's how they operate. But on the serious note, I ain't begging to be accepted by no white folk, dog. Like, period. That's just not what I do. I've never done that, and I'm not going to do that. If you don't like me, that's fine. If you don't think, if you don't, you don't think, like, you don't control me, bro, like, as far as your thoughts. Like, that's why I say racism without statism is nothing more than a bad idea. And I've been reiterating that. I've been quoted on that so many times over the past few weeks. Because it's my position, man. Like, if there's an aggression issue, there's an aggression issue. Let's address the aggression. I'm fine with addressing the aggression. But the aggression don't become better because it's black folk doing the aggression. Like, it doesn't become better. It doesn't become preferable. Aggression is bad no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Violation of people's private property rights is bad no matter who does it. Period. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't begging to be accepted and y'all can have that and joke of a movement. Y'all can continue to go ask to be validated by the white folk that you claim uh, are oppressing you and so forth. But you are saying that they are more superior to you if you have this nonsensical position that they need to speak up on your behalf. That's for losers.